Hey guys, so what is Tmux? Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. What is a terminal multiplexer? It basically allows you to keep a terminal running on a remote machine so you can sit on the garden and reconnect to it and use it. And then when you get back to your office, you can just put the um, device down that you were previously using it hop onto your desktop's terminal and just reconnect to that same session. Just deleting the uh, attachment of the other one so that it takes the full screen. So let's run through the whole what Tmux gives you. So when you etch to a remote server, which you should have, um, you know, be it a VPS or EC2, this is where you sort of running your IRC client so it doesn't annoy everyone by quitting and joining uh, as you lose or gain your connection. So uh, here I'm trying to demonstrate that that when you lose your internet connection your your terminal becomes unresponsive and to its credit SSH when you do turn back on your internet connection does a pretty good job of sort of re-establishing it. But you really want to use Tmux because that allows you to to have proper control and re and reattach to your your terminal session. So to get it running all you need to do is run Tmux. You know, run that long r running job. And then when you lose your internet connection or in fact if you lose your whole terminal in fact, uh, you can just start again from any device really uh, where your SSH key is all ready to go and assuming you have internet to get back online reconnect to that same server and then tmux space a to attach and there you go it's that simple the next awesome thing about tmux is that say you want to ssh into the same machine normally you open up a new terminal and you ssh in again well there's no need for that when, when you run tmux because you can actually spawn uh, new shells in the same Tmux session as I just did there. It's very simple. And, and furthermore, using a prefix and a percent, you can split it. Uh, for those people who don't use a tiling window manager, you kind of get like the whole tiling thing uh, with Tmux, which is quite useful. And to move between them, you just go the prefix key and, you know, left and right. Very simple. Right, so most terminals give you like a scroll back buffer, you know, I'm just using my mouse there, we just drag up and down on that right scroll bar. Well, Tmux actually gives you a scroll back buffer using the prefix and page up and page down, which is actually a bit better because the terminals um, session are sort of kept separate. You know, you might have separate, many separate windows or uh, sessions going and it's nice to have the the buffer just for that session now admittedly getting that buffer out is a bit tricky but I have in my dot file a little uh, rule that makes life a bit easier just control B colon to add the command I just paste it in there and now when I use the prefix and P I can have an option to save the whole buffer to file which I find very useful for bug reports and such things Just proving to you here that the buffer for that session is, is all there. So in my dot file, you may have noticed that I changed the prefix. And the reason I do that is because of nested Tmux, which is pretty advanced. I don't expect you to do this, but let me just show you the point of this. So when I have the prefix bound to A in my local Tmux session on my, on my local desktop, I can use control AC, you know, split window and, and such things. But the good thing about having that prefix set to A is that when I SSH to my remote machine, which doesn't have the config, using the default prefix of control B, I can just control the remote one, open up a new terminal and carry on. Uh, so here I'm effectively running nested tmuxes and to do that 
as I was saying, you have to change the prefix so that control A and control B are unique and don't interfere with one another. So I use Tmux everywhere because ST, the suckless terminal, doesn't have a scrollback buffer. And I think it has a lot better code than, say, GNU screen, which is an alternative. I hope you learn a little bit more about what Tmux is and what it's useful for, and maybe a tip and trick along the way. If you like the video, please give it a like, and please subscribe. And happy Chinese New Year from Malaysia. Bye, guys.